Hey Cancer, it's Nicola. So this will be your mid-month love update. What messages do we have? We're going to pull from the God, the angel gods and goddesses oracle deck first. Oracle deck first. <laughs> what guidance do we have for Cancer? Okay, we got angel of a new life. It says an exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold. With goddess of knowledge under here, it says start to apply what you already know and trust your intuition. So let's see what romance oracle cards we have. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me one card of guidance for Cancer. Ooh. So we got two, three, shit. So we got pay attention to the red flags. It says these signs are cautioning you. We have codependency. It says addictions are affecting your romantic life. And we have it is safe for you to love. It says open your hearts to give and receive the highest energy of all. So some of you guys will need to pay attention to some type of codependent situation that you're in and understand that it's okay for you to move your energy toward a higher vibration type of love. With the underlying energy being chemistry, I think you guys have a new um, strong magnetic attraction here. So let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for cancer? Some more lives and beings. What messages do we have? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, messages, guidance. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what messages, what guidance do we have? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, mid-August 2019, what messages, what guidance do we have? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, messages, guidance. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, mid-August 2019, messages. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Nine of Pentacles here. So I do feel like you're needing to gain your independence or this can be the underlying issue of you being independent. Um, I do feel like the difficulties have ended for you. I feel like you face with a new opportunity here. Lovers can be dealing with the Gemini in your, in your surrounding energy. But I do feel like there's a choice that needs to be made. Some of you guys need to be in alignment with searching for more in your life. Definitely seeing that codependent. So you guys could have had a codependent situation involving um, someone from your past. Let's see here. Got Ten of Swords here. I feel like that's ended with the Ten of Swords. I feel like there needs to be an embrace of the ending of that. Start here. Embracing the end of the difficult situation and making a decision to move forward will put you on the right path. But I feel like here, you're trying to blend pleasures from the past into your present. You're not going to be able to do that. You're going to have to choose to be on the right path and trust that choice in order for you to get out of this stuck place emotionally. With the judgment here, this is the last judgment. You have to make a decision now. I can't. So <laughs> she always kicks open that little door. Sorry, y'all. She always kicks open that little door and, and goes her way in there. So we got the Ace of Wands here. Why is this Ace of Wands here? Why is this Ace of This is in your past energy. So I feel like you've gotten a new opportunity in your past. Um, but you're needing to embrace the end of something in your present in order to move toward that. Okay, new opportunity here. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Seven of Cups here. That's confusion about moving forward. So some of you guys are procrastinating because you're confused about moving forward. So you could be holding on to something because you're confused. Holding on to an imbalanced situation. I told you there was a codependency here. So some of you guys could be holding on to something that maybe was once stable. Could have been a prior commitment. You're holding on to that because you have fear and confusion about moving toward Ace of Wands, something new. You have to earn your success within this situation by releasing and letting and freeing up that cycle in your life or freeing up that position in your life so that you can move toward true love. Lovers. Why is the lover's card in the subcon I mean in the external energy? Why is the lover's card there? We have justice here, five of wands. You need to do what's right. Someone here needs to do what's right. Someone's in conflict here, trying to weigh the pros and cons of the situation. With the King of Swords here, Gemini, King of Swords is Gemini energy. I do feel as though <laughs> I do feel as though someone needs to make some decisions. Someone's conflicted about making decisions. The King of Swords trusts his decisions. So maybe you need to take on this energy of the King of Swords and trust whatever decision you're needing to make to move forward. Um, I do feel like there's other people involved. Could be someone that's married with the King with the Five of Wands and the Justice card. But I do feel like a decision that needs to be made. Either someone in your surrounding energy is making a decision for themselves, being fair, um, maybe internally conflicted, trying to weigh their pros and cons, or this is you that is needing to weigh your pros and cons so that you can make a decision that is fair and balanced for you, not for nobody else around you, not for even the person you're in connection with. This is about you, not a pinnacle, your own independence, your own abundance. So with the Four of Swords here, I feel like you need to go within yourself. You're needing to meditate, contemplate a little bit. Why is this Four of Swords here? Death here, nine of pentacles. Yeah, some of you guys are needing to 
Allow yourself to transform. Death here, nine of pentacles, judgment with the will of fortune. It is fate that you gain your independence from the situation. Some of you guys are in a codependent situation and you're needing to really learn to stand on your own two feet. With the eight of cups here, I feel like you need to search for more. The eight of cups talks about spiritual and emotional growth. Um, it is like that eight of cups is usually a man walking away from cups, meaning walking away from something that was already there in search for that ninth cup, which is happiness. So you need to be in search of your own happiness. Why is this Eight of Cups here? And this will require you to grow emotionally. Why is this Eight of Cups here? Why is this Eight of Cups here? Why is this Eight of Cups here? Five of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. So some of you guys are, you're in this state of regret. Um, maybe disappointed because something didn't go your way. I feel like there's a severance here with an earth sign. The King of Pentacles, Three of Swords here. I feel like there's some sorrow because some of you guys feel like a situation is unfulfilled. You feel like the success of a situation is unfulfilled. Some of you guys feel like you have put a lot of energy and effort into something and there was nothing in return that you got. With that being said, if you feel that way, you do need to search for more in your life. Create your own happiness. So let's see what messages we have. We're going to pull from the Karma, Karma, Karma Sutra cards. What's the focal point for Cancer, Simon, Rising, and Venus? Whew. Judgment. I think this is judgment. Let me make sure. Y'all know I'm not good with the, uh, no, this is sign. I'm not good with the Roman numbers at all. And I probably should pay attention to these cards a little bit more. So I feel like here you're realizing because this person is bending over backwards. So I feel like you've been... Putting forth only a part of yourself. Some of you guys, this has only been sexual. Some of you guys, this has only been something that is beneficial because they're, they have no eye contact whatsoever. And like I said, the woman is legit bending over backwards. And the man is pushing her. He's pushing her backwards. Ten of swords to end the difficult situation. So somebody's pushing you to, you know, embrace that a situation has ended. What's the past energy for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's the past energy? I'm going to use that one. We got the Ten of Pentacles. So in the past, this could have been something stable. You guys could have been working together. Um, ten of Pentacles represents money, foundation. So you could have created a foundation. It could have been based off money. Yeah, with the Page of Wands here. Someone wasn't being true to themselves. So I do feel like, the, and with the cow here, this is talking about fertility, wealth. So I do feel like someone may have not being, not being honest within the situation really focusing on a foundation, really focusing on the stability of a foundation, but it's causing someone to be pushed away and some other, someone to be bent over backwards. So take the energy how it resonates for you. You could have been the one that's pushing someone away, or you could have been the one that has been bending over backwards and being pushed away. So what's the external energy here? What is this? 21. So that is completion. Ooh. So the external energy is the cycle is complete. This is completion. World. World is, here I see it, a cycle is complete here. So, and then I feel like here, because look, the woman is looking at the man and the man is looking off into, he's not looking at her. I'm trying to get to where y'all can see his eyes. I know y'all can see what's going on and he's not even inside of her. He's just like there. So I do feel like here, I don't know how to get it to do right. I know everybody be trying to tell me how to get this to show right, but should I be trying? It don't be working. I wish I could uh do like uh on my phone, just touch it. There you go. You see how she's looking at him, wanting him to like come into her, but he's not focused on her. He's literally not even penetrating her. He's just there. So I do feel like you may have been in a situation where someone was just there and you were wanting more and that it was just, judgment you need to make a, de a decision that this cycle is over you don't want to keep putting yourself in a situation where you're trying to push and i'm only saying this because in the feminine energy and all of these she's open but the masculine energy is kind of shut off closed off so let's see in the subconscious the eight of wands so i do feel you want to move forward i do feel there could be some movement forward here um even here there the man isn't looking at the woman again um I feel like there is some communication, so I feel like there will be communication, but I don't feel like the focus is a little fortune under that. I do feel like you have to change or move forward in order to, I feel like you got to move forward. It's fate that you move forward here. What's the outcome here? What's the outcome for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's the outcome for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's the outcome for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? 
This is the Knight of Swords. So I do feel like action is being taken. Even again here, there's not a lot of, I feel like actions are going to be taken. And this is the Knight of Swords. So I do feel like there may be some anger associated with this. Or there may be like a rushing into something. So if you're moving, because I did see chemistry here. If you're moving into a new relationship, don't rush because you don't want to create codependencies around it. Take your time and really think things through. You can see that their faces are not even fake. They're not facing each other. Both of these people are looking to the past. So I feel like in order for you to move forward, you do got to let go of what was in the past. You and whoever you're moving forward with, you both have to let go of the past and really start to, Knight of Wands, really focus on each other. No, that is the Queen of Wands. So you need to focus on asserting yourself, asserting your own dependence, independence and really being confident in the moves that you're making. You're going toward a new life, most definitely. And I feel like you need to not concentrate on the past as you move forward. What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Messages for Cancer. Ooh. So we have expression. It says you are ready. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into actions of love. With priorities, you need to understand that your expression of love is a priority. It says you understand the import, the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. So with that, do feel grateful that you're able to express it with this chemistry type of situation that you have. That's all I have. Until next time, y'all. Peace.